What's up you guys? It's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a couple of patron spreads, so stay tuned for a fun plan with me. First up is Dawn, and Dawn asks for a relaxing spring spread from Live Love Posh. So I chose this Spring Allure book that's new from Live Love Posh. You can always use code MICHELLE10 to save 10% off on your Live Love Posh orders on everything excluding posh boxes and box sets. But I picked out this section because I think it's just really calm and soothing, and it also is definitely springy. So I think that's going to be really pretty for Dawn's spread. I like this for the sidebar, this little calendar. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that right up here. All right, I love this sticker here. Just gonna trim away some of the bottom. And I think I'll put that right here and then a quote here. Let's do this Leo Tolstoy quote that says spring is the time of plans and projects. And we could do a few flowers in the lower corners. scrap right here. And let's do this little vase of flowers over here. Just cover up that note with an extra flower there. Another one there and a little leaf scrap. Then the other scrap that we used from over here that we got from that. And this little flower here. All right, before I do any more decorative, let's go ahead and add some boxes. Let's do this full box here. We'll do that one there and do this kind of goldenrod color right here. This peach up here, or coral, and then this one here, or let's do it like this and then we'll add a purple smaller one. like this, but I'm going to trim that one off. Maybe I should make this one connected to this cluster up here. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's 
Then we'll do this darker purple slender box. Maybe let's do it like this. I'm going to do them like this. And then one more box here. Let's do this one. Okay, so that's all of our boxes. Let's go ahead and draw some lines. And up here. do some here and up here okay so I'm thinking we need a quote up here probably. Let's do in full bloom right up here. I might even add some bullet points there. And then I like this big Hello Spring quote, but I don't know if it's too big. Let's see. might be good and then I could put a little something decorative here and some flowers up there not sure if I want this one here now that I look at the placement of the of it I think I'm gonna do it over here and I'd like one here how about bloom with spring's arrival something kind of small since there's a larger one up top Let's do these little seed packets here and some more flowers beside that. We'll do this scrap and a yellow one and then part of this purple one. Do this here. Let's do this here. I'm not, I still think this quote is too big. I'm going to take that up for a minute till I decide. I kind of like this renew, rejoice, relax. Since this is a relaxing spread for you, Dawn. And I'm gonna cut it apart though and do it on three separate lines instead of one. And since I did that, though, I am going to put a little bit of a bigger quote here. I like this, but in order to use this, I'm going to have to pick this up or move it down some anyway. We'll move it over a bit. How about that? Oh, 
Okay, and I'm moving this over because I didn't want it right above that quote. Put that there. And I'm gonna put this really small quote up here. I need to put this here. greenery there. Okay, so over here, let's drop off a few scraps also. greenery with that. So the top is filled in. Let's go ahead and use this scrap right here. Let's add these little blue flowers here. With this little scrap. Oh, here's another butterfly, a larger one. This will be perfect in the sidebar. Here is what's throwing me off. It's too many flowers all together, so I think I'm gonna do the little watering can there. All right, y'all, I turned the camera off to sort of regroup because I felt like I was stuck. So I ended up moving, I have the two boxes here. I didn't like the way that looked, so I moved this one here, and I think I'm gonna add a slender, like golden color up here. Okay, I think that I'm digging this. Let me get this trimmed off and look at it. And then I'm ready to add some bullet points. I know what we'll do. We'll take these up and add this little oil diffuser. Okay, that looks cute. And I wanna go ahead and add some bullet points. I think I wanna do like the peachy color or the golden color. Let's see how this golden color would look. Oh, I like that. It really stands out. So let's do some here also, and then here and here.
And then I made an Easter sticker. I thought about putting it here, but it looks too busy, I think right under that quote, and I wanna leave that quote there. So I'm gonna just put it right here because it fits perfectly. And a couple of little flags. So we'll do this one here. And let's put this one here. And this one here. Maybe a couple of little things in the sidebar. Let's do another smaller butterfly in the sidebar. Okay, let's do get it done right here. And today here. To do like this. And up here we could do check it off. And write it down right here. All right, that's going to be Dawn's spread. I love how it turned out. I hope you love it, Dawn. I think it's so fun and fresh. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next up is Gianna, and Gianna said I could do whatever I wanted. So, so I pulled out I Love Spring by Kelowa Plan because I want to use these beautiful tulips in here. Aren't those so pretty? And I'll be sure to include my Kelowa Plan affiliate link. So I think I want to start out with a big corner piece of tulips like this. Then I'm going to put this piece over here. I don't want it to look exactly the same, so I cut it cut it apart. And I also, I just printed these on the Cricut, printed and cut these. These little bunnies are so cute and chicks and some happy Easter quotes in different sizes. And I turned the camera off to do that and I added a longer box here in the sidebar and some lines and so I didn't get that filmed but that's all. So I've wanted to work in some of these since it's Easter week. I think that is adorable. Maybe maybe we'll do this chick on top of the box with some tulips. Oh that is so cute. Okay and with that let's see. like some of these smaller ones. Yeah, that's cute. Put that right there beside the little chick. All right, so cute. I think I like this Happy Easter best with this spread. Like that, then with one of these cute bunnies.
and then maybe a little bit more of tulip action. And this little tulip scrap beside the bunny. That's so cute. Okay, so let's do this like medium green box here. And this one here. Let's do this pink one here. Let's see, let's do the green and then the yellow. And let's do this smaller yellow one that I trimmed off right there. All right, let's go ahead and draw some lines. I think I'll do some here and here. And Okay, and let's add some here. And here. and maybe just a few right here. Okay, perfect, because I want to continue this over. All right, so let's get another bunny. Let's do this one that's standing up. Right there. How cute. And let's have this little chick hanging out right down here. Let's put this right up here. All right, I wanna add a couple of more quotes, maybe here and somewhere over here. All right, let's do this one that says, enjoy the little things right up here, since it's kind of small. And positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. Let's do that here. And now let's go ahead and add a few bullet points. I think maybe we'll just go with these little pink circles. So let's do a couple up here.
and here. And here. Okay, now we need to add more decorative items back to the tulips and these cute little animals. I might add one more bunny. All right, I love this camera with the tulips. So let's do that. Maybe I want to do that over here. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then something else here, though. Maybe this setup, like the vanity. Let's do that right here. Do a few tulips right here. Let's do this one. And then these smaller ones by this little chick. Let's do another one by this little bunny. And where could we put this cutie? Maybe up here. Perfect. Let's do the cutie, this cutie up there. And we need a little bit of tulip action at the top. I'm gonna take some of these that say today's tasks and kind of trim them so they can be on the top. And here's another little scrap to go with that. little bit right here. And I'm gonna put these right here. Let's do this couple up here by this look cute little bunny. And a little bit there. And over here. And we'll put this here. 
I'm kind of thinking about putting this bunny here because I do want to put some tulips at the top and it just looks like too many tulips, even though I love this sticker. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Maybe he can be just sitting in some greenery or something. Let's sit in those little two. Oh, I want to go ahead and put one of these Easter stickers up here. more by this little chick. There's some right there. I've got a few yellow flags, pale yellow flags. I'm going to put one here and up here on this pink box and right here. And then I made these little bows on the Cricut. Let's see. I think this one looks more like the one that the bunny is wearing. And then this little smaller one right here. Okay, and then let's add, oh, let's get a quote. All right, I have this little one that says, do what makes your soul shine. That looks perfect right there. I think I'm going to add one more box here. It just needs something, like maybe a little one this color. Out of this Pastel Basics book. Or we could do a slender green and a slender yellow. Yeah, let's do that and just trim those off right here. And now we need a few black words and see if there's any finishing touches and we're gonna be all set. This is so pretty, I love it. Let's do a today right here. And right here we can do to do. And over here we will do important. And something here, get it done. I think we're good, except I feel like we need a little something here. It looks just like really open right there compared to everywhere else. I think maybe a few of these little Easter eggs would be cute. Let's see. Oh, those are cute. I think I might want to add some of the, those down here to break up some of the tulips. Use that little scrap from up there and a 
Okay, and let's put an egg or two here instead of this. We'll put that up there. Okay, and some here. And I think we're gonna be all set. And just a little bit of tulip action over here, peeking on the page. All right, that's gonna be Gianna's Easter spread. I think it turned out so cute. I hope you love it, Gianna. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I put these two patron spreads together. Thank you to my patrons for all of your support. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.